I hope you guys are staying warm out there dealing with this polar vortex. In the meantime, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, we have a story and it's coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto ass Georgia. So what's going on in ghetto Georgia, you ask? What's going on is this? We have this young kid, he's 18 years old, and this kid is so smart but devious, it's scary, okay? So this kid decided to start his own company called Riverdale X, which was kind of like a tech company. And so basically he was selling all types of products to people. He wasn't giving them the products. He was writing them off as taxes and business expenses. And then he tried to file for $20 million in tax refund. This entire situation is insane. I'm gonna go ahead and let the news break it down to you. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Good Thursday evening, I'm Justin Farmer. I'm Javita Moore, first to Channel 2 Action News exclusive. We were there when investigators took this 18 year old out of his home in handcuffs. He is accused of setting up an elaborate online business scam to steal more than $20 million from the state of Georgia. Channel 2's investigative reporter Nicole Carr is live in South Fulton County. Nicole, you can break down the scheme for us and tell us how the teenager got caught. Joe Vita, it's a setup really made for a movie. One investigator say allowed this 18 year old to pay cash for high end vehicles. See, he thought if he overpaid in business taxes, he would get a big check. Instead, they came and uh, took him away in handcuffs. You're accused of trying to scam the state out of tens of millions of dollars. Is there anything you want to say about that? Charles Turner was silent as city of South Fulton and state authorities took him into custody Thursday morning and his family says they knew nothing about his alleged multi-million dollar scheme. Did you find it unusual the amount of money that was coming in to the house? I mean there's no money coming now. I mean, I ain't getting that. The 18 year old was arrested on a November warrant for walking away from a Henry County SunTrust bank with $18,000 tied to a fraudulent check cashing. But it's a more than $20 million scheme that has him under state investigation now. It captured the state revenue department's attention three weeks ago. And how much money we're receiving daily. Uh, and then also how much money was being reversed uh, due to fraudulent accounts. Turner operated this online electronics business, Riverdale X, that opened in 2017 until it shut down on Wednesday. Authorities who seized a hard drive, license plates, and cars say he would sell Amazon products for an upcharge. Did you have actual customers? But customers never actually received the products. Instead, agents say he accessed money from them and started paying the state of Georgia. He had actually set up a business set up withholding accounts and sales tax accounts and was overpaying by more than $25 million. This week, Turner didn't know he was communicating with undercover agents when he arranged for a paper check delivery, telling them he was in the UK and an accountant would sign for the money at his business, which turned out to be his city of South Fulton home. Turner wasn't in Wales, and the cars he'd paid for in either cash or with a bad check were seized for evidence. Unfortunately, we've seen uh, in the past people younger than him, um, and we've seen it from all walks of life. Um, just not to this extent. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is live in South Fulton County. Nicole, are there other victims in this scam? Well, Jovita, that's what the state investigation will focus on. You heard the revenue agent say that he'd actually access real people's bank accounts and uh, funded some of these purchases with accounts and other fraudulent accounts. So at this point, it's unclear how much of that money actually cleared, how many victims are out there, but that's what they're focused on in all of this. Enterprising young man, but just 18 years old. What about his parents in all this? Well, his mother actually had to come outside to move one of those cars and help investigators as the tow trucks were coming in to seize evidence. But his brother told us that she didn't want to talk to us. All right, you guys, you guys just saw that news clip. So this entire situation is really sad. I mean, the kid is clearly smart. The fact that he was able to come up with this huge illicit scheme to basically defraud not only, you know, customers, but the state of Georgia to the tune of $20 million says a lot. Imagine if he would have put all that energy into a legitimate business. 
He'd be a millionaire right now because the kid is obviously not dumb. But like the old saying goes, in this day and age, you can rob people easier with a briefcase than you can a gun. And especially being that there's so many online businesses, there's so many ways for people to scheme and scam. But at the end of the day, it's not worth it and it will always come back on you. Another thing I find really suspicious with this story is the family. They're claiming they had no idea what the brother was doing, what the son was doing. They had no idea. But yet and still, the mother had to go to the driveway to move one of many expensive cars out the way so she could get out her garage, you know what I'm saying, for the police. So I'm not understanding this. So you don't know what your 18-year-old is doing, but your 18-year-old is coming home with all types of fancy high-end cars that you yourself who's working a nine-to-five can't even afford. It makes no sense. I would not be surprised if the family was complicit, if they knew what he was up to, but they turned a blind eye. The kid is not living on his own. He's living with his parents. How the hell do they have up to eight high-end cars in their driveway, but they had no idea what their child was up to? The average 18 year old is just learning to get their license they're excited to get their first car most of their first cars are cars from the damn 90s or the early 2000s they're not riding around in brand new lexuses and bmws and all types of fancy shit so i'm not buying that the family didn't know nothing because now that this scheme has been unraveled they could definitely go down with him so i feel like that's why they're trying to play crazy but i refuse to believe that this family had no idea that their 18 year old child was doing some damn nefarious ass shit upstairs in his damn bedroom on the damn computer okay Okay, I'm not buying that for a second. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ghetto-ass situation, honey. Coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto-ass Georgia. Like I said, the kid is really smart. I didn't know people did shit like that. So obviously, the kid is not dumb. And for him to defraud all these agencies, it says a lot. But again, he needs to take all that energy and put it into something legitimate once he gets out of damn prison, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.